the first time that I met Carol, she had plan, she had experience, and uh, by the end of our very brief meeting, I had promised that I'd do everything I could to get her a couple million bucks for conservation. How many of you can say no to Carol? She wields an incredible amount of power. She is a modest grandmother who scares you when you realize how much she can get done. <laughs> I've never said no to Carol that I'm aware of. I think but for Carol uh, and her leading a lot of other people, uh, we wouldn't have water conservation on the policymakers agenda like we do. I grew up in East Texas and then down in the Houston area. Got married, had the family there, and then got up to Austin as fast as I could. My oldest daughter and her husband went to Africa to start up a school and, and an orphanage. And my first trip over there, I realized how precious water is to them. It made a huge impression on me. Hi, Carol Baker. As we look at the future here in Texas, I think it's so critical that you know we really uh, get the general public involved in this issue. I think it has to do with the depth of her convictions and principles that are not only about how important water conservation is to the future of this state, but um, about what's the right thing to do. She has a great way of getting uh, the two sides to start talking to each other. Just a great negotiator, a great mediator, a, a great individual as far as uh, getting people to see something outside of their comfort zone. And I think what helps her is that she is effective. She actually makes things happen. She gets things done. And that's why I like working with her. She helped create the Harris-Galveston Subsidence Districts program where they go into schools to provide these fantastic products uh, and education for these kids that the district has seen has actually reduced their water usage. This is a wonderful, wonderful turnout. People are making decisions all over this state and in the United States about how to creatively, efficiently use water because of Carol Baker. You know, my mom didn't have the easiest life growing up, but I can tell you that as my mother, she made it very easy. She worked so hard. However, I've never felt like she took time away from us. Your life begins to end the day you become silent about things that really matter. As long as I can do it, I, I cannot be silent about this. It's important. There could be no better representative for that award this year. Greg was a real good friend of mine, and he had that same passion in his heart, too. He was remarkable, and uh, to be honored with an award that has his name on it, it's just um, kind of the pinnacle, I think. I hope I can be half <laughs> the woman that my mother is. I just look to her as inspiration. I look to her for guidance, and I think a lot of people can say that, not just your kids.